Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Uh, today we are a little bit earlier so we can meet with our friends and brothers and sisters from Europe. Uh, our topic is very simple. I will try to keep the video short as much as I can because some people they say maybe it's better if you make it shorter for us so we can follow. Uh, the Muslims always they come to the Christians and they say to them that your Bible is corrupted. <clears throat> And many Christians immediately go into defense, you know, uh, because, uh, you know, how you say the Bible is corrupt? I mean, I believe in that book. But there is something we all, uh, as a Christians, we miss. That Islam is not somebody, somebody is a Muslim, he is not an atheist, he is not a Hindu, not a Buddha. It, he have different background. So, he is not actually accusing you. He is accusing himself. To make it simple for you, if we go to the yellow pages of Muhammad and we type the word Injil in the search engine, Injil, you will find the word appear many times in the Quran, claiming that Allah is the one who sent the Injil. You see, the Muslims. Uh, they translate the word as Torah, but they translate the word as gospel, which is false translation, by the way. Uh, because you cannot change the name if it is coming as Injil. Why you use the word gospel? And having that word there is a big problem for the Muhammadan. However, starting with the point of accusation that the Bible is corrupted, that is something against Islam, not against me. Because as long as the Muslims agree that this book is sent by Allah, the question is, how stupid Allah to the point anyone can corrupt his book? Because responsibility of the book, preservation, belong to God. For this is his book, not my book. You see, when I say uh, the, the, the Injil is my book, this is not accurate. Because this is the book of God. So the one who should preserve the book is the one, the author of the book. So if the Muslims saying to us that the Bible is corrupted, they are shooting at their God, proving to us that Allah is a fufu fifi mimi. Anyone can spank him, change his book. So if you are speaking to a Muslim and he says to you, the Bible is corrupt, say to him, okay, the Bible which Allah has sent is corrupt. In a second, you will see he changes his mood. He, do, he will change the topic. Because it's stupid, it's funny, and it's an insult to his God, not to you. Secondly, the second question you should ask the Muslim, okay, Allah, he sent the Injil. Did he allow it to be corrupted or he himself corrupted? If he say he allowed it to be corrupt, that's mean Allah is shaitan. Because the purpose of this book to be sent is not to corrupt people, it's to help them. So if Allah allowed the book to be corrupted, that means Allah himself is using his book to corrupt society by allowing someone to play with it. He is a partner of the crime. If I allow a man to, ra to rape a woman, I am no different from the rapist. Do you understand me? There's a man who rape a woman and there's a man who allow the man to rape a woman. Both of them are partners so if Allah allow anyone to corrupt his book that's mean Allah is a partner in the corruption and he is a corrupt God and he is the devil if the Muslims say he did not allow it that's mean Allah will does not prevail Allah is not God for if I can do something against his will and this is against the teaching of Islam because Muslim they say everything happened by the will of Allah and the Quran have tons of verses saying it clearly that even bad things, good things, doesn't matter what it is, it happened only by the will of Allah. All those verses confirming to us uh, that Allah is behind it. Chapter 64, verse number 11 says, that no disaster, no bad things happen to you except by the will of Allah. I.e., 
the decision of Qadr, which means the divine pre determine it the, the, determine so Allah is the one who prepare so before Allah he sent the Injil he prepared a plan to corrupt the Injil how stupid that is are we listening <laughs> so listen to this before Allah he sent the Isa and before he give him the book he decide that he will send the Isa and he will corrupt his book who is the one who decide that Allah do you see it? So when we say Islam officially is a stupid low IQ cult, we mean it. Nothing bad happened except by the will of Allah. Is, is corrupting the, the book, uh, the Bible is, is, is bad or good? I mean, if this is good, what is bad then? You know what I mean? So it's very easy to defeat this stupid cult. It just use their own animation against them. Don't yours. Don't don't waste your yours. You know the Bible says it clearly. You don't throw the jewels under the feet of those who don't respect it. And the purpose of this accusation is just to insult the Bible, because their prophet is not there except he is the false prophet. Secondly, how in the word Allah he used the word Injil. You know the Muslims. One of the funny things about Muhammadan, they are like people who repeat the same word but they don't know what the word means. They keep saying to us that Jesus was sent to Israel. Jesus was sent to Israel. Who Jesus was sent to Israel? Okay, okay, he was, uh, okay. We agree. We agree. Jesus, Jesus came to his people, but he came for the whole world too. However, if he came to Israel, how his book in the Quran, his name is Injil. I mean, his people are Hebrew. They speak Hebrew. The name of the book is a Greek. So imagine I am an Arab and I am writing a book for the Arab and my book in Japanese. Because the name of the book is telling you what is the language of the book. The language of the book is Greek. So did Allah send the Injil to the Greek or to the Hebrew? How stupid that is. Muhammad, the author of the Quran, he could not find another name. This is the only name he knew that they call it Injil, the Greek name. So he decided to use the Injil. But that's mean that the book, all of it is in a Greek. And that's mean Allah did not send his book to the Hebrew because the book is in a Greek. He sent it to the Hebrew. You know, the Quran says, listen carefully, the yellow pages of Muhammad says that Allah never sent the book except in the tongue of the people except what in the tongue of the people chapter 14 verse number 4 we have not sent the messenger except with the language of his people in order to make it clear for them very simple very clear so the message have to be in the language of the people to the people who is the messenger from the people so based in this verse Jesus was a Greek person and he, his language is a Greek, and he was sent to the Greek. Is it is the is the message clear, guys? Based on this, Allah He called the book Injil. He called it what? Injil. Who is the one who called it Injil? Allah. This is not a translation, this is the original name in the in the Quran. It says here. نزل عليك الكتاب بالحق مصدقا لما بين يديه. And here we have other problem. Confirming what is between his hands. How the book is corrupted, you idiot. And yet it says in the Quran, confirming what is between his hands. And look in the Muslim translation. They say try to fabricate. They say confirming what came before it. It doesn't say that in Arabic. It doesn't say that CP. It says confirming what is between his hands. So every single verse in the Quran is a stupid at the point will make you dizzy if you are a Muslim, will make you laugh if you are a Christian, will make you love cows if you are a Hindu. Because the cows have way more intellect and intelligence from the one who wrote the Quran. And look at that, look at the corruption, confirming what was revealed before it, where it says that? Where, where it says that? 
You know what? I'm, I'm going to use a trick just to show you how we can get them busted. I'm going to open this page in Google browser. And I will translate the page in the front of your eyes. So you will see both sides, the original, the, the Muslim translation and Google translation. And you will see that the stupid Google translation will get them busted. Let us do it. Translate to English. Be my witness. Chapter number three. The, broad, the book brought to the truth to you. Believe what was in his hand. The word was here is actually, actually what is between his hands. Do you see it? So the book is between their hands at that time. So how the book is corrupted? And this is in the time of Muhammad. Muhammad confirming what is between his hands. If we go to different verses in the Quran, we will see the Fufu Muhammad. He is even getting himself faster in the, in the quicksand. So he say, <laughs> Look at this disaster. I mean, how clear we can make it more than this. Muhammad came and he is confirming what they possess. Do you see it? Even this is the Muslim translation, which is obviously always is a lie. But even with their lies, we got them busted. Confirming that which they possess. Chapter 2, verse 101. Amazing, it's 101. <laughs> and I want to say one more final point, because we said we will make the video small, as a shorter. If we go in the Hadith, we will find Muhammad taking oath in the Torah. Proving to us again that Muhammad is a fraud. This is Muhammad and this is an accepted correct hadith. A group of the Jews they came to Muhammad asking him about the punishment for fornication. To make the story short, you can you can you can use uh, you can read the hadith in your own. It says he told them, Okay, bring the Torah. Muhammad said, The Messenger of Allah, he sat on a in, a in a cushion and he said to them, Bring the Torah. And it was then brought. Then he would draw the cushion from beneath him and he placed the Torah on it saying, look at this, he's shown, he's shown respect to the Torah. I believed in thee and the one who sent revealed thee. Look at this. So how the Torah is corrupted and Muhammad taking oath in it? There's one of two options. Either Muhammad is the same as Obama. He take oath in anything in the front of him, even if it's a goat for the sake of political gain which means he's a fraud or muhammad is a true prophet and he believe in this book and this book never been corrupted because he says i believe in you so if the book is corrupt and he swear by a book which is corrupt obviously muhammad is corrupt if you give me a book like the quran and says to me take an oath in the quran i will refuse because this is the book of the devil for me if I accept to take an oath by that book, it's mean I am a devilish, the same as the book I believe in. So if this book is corrupt, obviously it's the book of the devil. It's not the book of God no more. For the devil played with it. So if Muhammad, he's taken oath by it, and not only that, saying, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. And he placed his hand over the whole book, not only a verse. You see, he said, bring the Torah for me. The whole Torah. And remember at that time, the Torah... It's not like pages like now. It's like a scroll. So you have, it's like a roll. So they bring the roll for him. They put it in the front of him. And Muhammad, he placed his hand and he says, I believe in thee. What more we want or we need to get Muhammad busted? So what we learn from this, the Muslim, they believe that Allah, he sent Injil. Injil is a Greek word. 
that's mean Jesus was sent and that's mean the book the name is in Jesus mean the Greek itself the, the book itself is written in Greek that's mean Jesus was a Greek sent for the Greek because the Quran confirmed that Allah never sent the messenger unless he speak the tongue of the people and he give them message in their language as you see chapter 14 verse number four the Quran confirmed at the same time that no bad things happen except by Allah leave by previous determine predestiny of Allah which mean Allah he made decision before he even sent the Isa to corrupt his book if this is true which mean Allah is the devil himself for the one who is a partner the one who allow a crime and this is a crime against himself not against someone else this is a crime against his book and this book will deceive millions billions actually with there's more than three billion Christians believe in Jesus as God so based on this story the, uh, the one who allowed the book to be corrupted is Allah, and Allah is the reason for deceiving three billion human beings. I mean, the devil, he could not do that. Allah is more powerful than the devil. He is the, 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 he is the master of the devil. He is the first devil. In the top of that, the Quran saying clearly in many verses that Allah, he confirmed, Muhammad, he confirmed what is the Christian they possess, but this is contradiction for all what Muslims claim. And Muhammad, he could take an oath in it. All those things lead us to one conclusion. That the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot. He changed his words, the bend in the situation. So when he is trying to get close to the Jews, he respect the Torah, he kiss the Torah, he bow down to the Torah. When he, he wanna, he, he, that's it, he do not need the Jews. He wanna kill the Torah, the Torah, the, he wanna kill the, the, the Christians, he wanna kill the Jews. He do not need them no more. So Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. And he changed his God and his religion based in the temperature of the atmosphere around him. Actually, if you remember the, 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 the verse where it says, that Allah said, chapter 2, verse 106, nothing of our revelation we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we bring something better or similar. That's a very stupid statement. I mean, you, you, you abrogate it and you make them forget it to bring something similar. That's stupid. But the reason for this verse, if you read the interpretation, you will see that the Arab, they were making laugh at, laughing at Muhammad. They were saying that this man, he enjoy his followers and order in the morning and he changed his order afternoon. I mean, how that can be? How fast God, he changed his teaching. You see, we are not talking about the prophet. He came under, uh, after another prophet, like uh, uh, 10 centuries after. We are talking about a guy. He say in the morning, this is halal. Afternoon, he says, no, don't do it. It's not halal. And the Arab, they were laughing at him. And why Muhammad is doing that? I'm trying to open the website, but it's taking time. This is the, the corrupt king of Jordan website. Never work, as usual. You know, this guy, his book, never, his website, never work. All right, uh, let us try to show you. Read carefully with me. This is not, you see the funny, this is, this is written by the Muslims' hands. Look at this. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain, and this is the official website of the King of Jordan, who is the most corrupt person, for he is, obviously, claiming to be from the children of Muhammad, which is very funny, proving to us how corrupt Muhammad is. Even his deceits are very corrupt. When the disbelievers began to write, to, to, to laugh at the matter of abrogation, saying <laughs> that one day Muhammad enjoyed his companion in one thing, and then next day he forbid it. <laughs> is this <laughs> what happened what happened if Allah he wrote his book before even he created the earth how Allah he sent a verse and then he changed the order of the verse second day don't you see it obviously this man he have no dignity he changed his religion as he wish he says something people laugh at it and then he said, oh, oh, what I did, this is poo, poo Let me change it before they make they, they, they laugh more at me. As an example, to give you one example of the poo, poo of Muhammad, is this. Look at 
No, we're typing in English. Hold on. This is one of the poopoo of Muhammad. Oh, a believer. In the law of equality and punishment. Okay, Muhammad now making a very serious law. This is about the blood. This is execution. This is death. In the case of punishment, free for the free. Okay. Slave for the slave. Uh uh. Female for the female. This is justice of God. So if I kill my you if you kill my wife, I kill your wife. If you kill my slave, I kill your slave. If you are free and you kill a free, I kill the free. I mean what this is? Muhammad right away after he made this verse, he people they start laughing at him. The Jews they start saying to him, This is not the law of eye for eye, you idiot. Eye for an eye is not like that. This is toes for an eye. How in the world this man, he thought that this is the law of Moses, which an eye for an eye. So right away, Muhammad, he abrogated this verse because they started laughing at him. And this is a very serious law. I mean, this is about the punishment of 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 of, 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 of crimes. How you change it over day? But because Muhammad is a fraud, he is a dummy. Whatever he say, the Muslim they say it is yummy. And when you are a dummy, you find it yummy. For you are dummy, and what we can say more. So if a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? If a fool like Muhammad can fool you how fool are you with this i finish my video for today i hope we learn something good so when the muslims accuse you of the bible corruption don't defend the bible just laugh show them the verses says okay you are saying to us that the bible of allah is corrupt ha 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 stupid idiot that's mean your god allah cannot be god for your god supposedly he promised nobody can corrupt his book and we can show tons of verses more for your God, he said this and that and that, whatever you explain in the video. Don't defend, don't defend. We do not need to defend this. They are, those people are talking to themselves, insulting themselves, insulting their God. They are not insulting you. They are insulting themselves. They are insulting the intelligence of a human being. For every details in the Quran is against what they say. Use their words against them. Don't use yours. And this is how we spank Muhammad every day. Hard. And then we don't even give him Vaseline to make it heal. So he can suffer, stay red for centuries. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we see you soon again. Bye-bye.